seven ways to know if your parrot loves you. Oh, oh, hi, Macy. This is Macy, my cape parrot. Come here. Get in the video. There you go. Hey, guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond, Get to Know African Grey and Cape Parrots. Today, I'm wearing some awesome bird merch. This is one of my daughter's designs. She is, it looks like, graduating high school early, taking the last three classes she needs over the summer and getting ready for college. And she's saving some of her money for college by making some awesome art. So if you want to support her, please be sure to visit shop.parapolis.com. How can you tell if your parrot loves you? <laughs> Number one, your parrot is comfortable around you. How do you know if your parrot's comfortable around you? You know, when they're comfortable around you, they preen themselves. They aren't on guard, they're relaxed. So they do things like Macy's doing right now. She's preening herself. Oh, she was until we turned the camera on her. They do things like Rosie. Rosie is just relaxing, almost ready to fall asleep. They just enjoy and take it easy. Number two, your parrot preens you. You know, that's when love hurts. After all, love is caring. Sometimes when Blue, our Quaker, cares for me, it hurts. Or my Amazon, they both do the same thing. They cuddle into you, they nuzzle, and especially when they do it around my neck, it's like, there we go, that's the preening. Sometimes it's just topical and it's like a nice little massage. Other times, I get hangnails from them I don't get my skin cut, but it kind of hurts. Or sometimes Rosie, that big girl, she gets ready to feed me and she starts to try to regurgitate and to regurgitate, they try to bring their food back up, which means she's bouncing her beak on my collarbone, on my shoulder. I think she's gonna give me a bruise. Love hurts, but she's really loving on me. Next, number three, did we already say your parrot cuddles with you? We said preening. Your parrot cuddles with you. And this one makes a clicking sound, which is a Quaker thing. There he goes. Yes, you're such a sweet boy. Last night we were trying to put him in his cage, walking around, couldn't find him. We're like, he didn't get out, did he? Where's Blue, where's Blue? So I started going, And sure enough, that's where we found him, you know, or that's when we found him on top of a shelf, all cuddled up in the corner hiding, but the clicking is what gave him away. Oh, thanks, love. Yes, I love you too. I love you too. Number four, your parrot talks to you. That clicking kind of counts. Well, it does count. It's communication. But if you have a parrot that talks, they talk to you. Every now and then, Lorenza will say, I love you in her Amazon parrot voice. It's very cute, very sweet. When your parrots try to get your attention, they're trying to get your attention for a reason. If you have a quieter parrot, like a tropical African parrot from the African continent, like Macy here, they aren't as talkative. They aren't as loud, at least not my capes. And while they can talk, Macy doesn't talk, Quantum does, but they don't say a whole lot to us. Ursulus this morning, our Amazon, our Mexican red-headed red Amazon, he was talking up a storm and it sounded like, like a penis thing. I think he is trying to talk to us without talking, just making the sounds and the intonations, making sure we know that he's a part of the conversation because he loves us and we're all in the flock together. This morning I was feeding Max. Max is our new baby Cape Parrot that's missing a wing and some toes. He came that way from the breeder. Supposedly his parents did that to him and sometimes that can happen when the parents are stressed out. But anyway, I put Max on the table because um, I was gonna, no I did feed him. And then I went and I was feeding some of the other babies and next thing I know, Max is on the floor walking over to me, making a sound, looking for me. And I'm going, oh, Max, no, how did you get down from the table? Max was following me because he wants to be with me. It's really sweet, but better when your parrot can fly and can fly around instead of having to get down from the table. 
but they definitely will follow you around when you let them. As a matter of fact, I could see Quantum. I think he's ready to come out. Last thing is, when I have a cage cleaner, one of the things that happens is if I need to go out and run an errand while they're here, then when I come back, they know before I get home. How do they know? Because my birds get excited. Lorenza starts to say hello to me. Or if my daughter's bringing Lorenza downstairs for the day, because Lorenza likes to sleep in. She doesn't want to be bothered to come downstairs in the morning. She wants to stay in her night cage and sleep in. So once she's done that, sometimes my daughter will bring her downstairs and I can hear Lorenza coming down the stairs with my daughter going, hello, hello, because she's already excited to see me. When our par parents, um, when we get home and they're all quiet, then they all of a sudden break out into a lot of noise. How do we know? Sometimes my husband's in his office working and the house he says is nice and quiet and he goes, the minute you guys get home, all sound breaks jungle free and it is loud as can be. Now, add to this list the last one, one more, and that is, of course, as I had said before, when they regurgitate for you. Throwing up will be side to side and the throw up will get on their feathers on their cheeks. Regurgitating will be up and down because they're trying to bring it up. They'll bring it up, it'll come out their beak and they'll either drop it to feed you because you're supposed to be underneath catching it with your beak or sometimes Rosie will just take it back, which is fine by me. So regurgitating is not the same as throwing up and when they regurgitate for you, that's a really good sign that your parrot loves you. Don't forget to stop by shop.parrotbliss.com. Oh, do you see my kikes there? There's one, there's two. There's three out here all together, but I only see two there. Got a little jungle out here this morning. Be sure to please give us one of these and we will catch you in the next feathered video.